Hello and welcome to today's vlog, day 114 of 365 days of running 2017 miles in this year. So, um, obviously yesterday was a long, long run and really tough day down in London, um, which I'll reflect on in a second, but 1.25 miles just done this morning and the solution was just to get it done and I think sometimes when it comes to your fitness goals and especially on a Monday, um, never miss a Monday, it's important that you do get your fitness goals and your workout done and get your priorities right. If, if you want to look good and you want to feel good, working out is part of that and I think in order to get that overall healthy lifestyle you've got to get it in early, especially on a Monday. Get it in, get it done and um, that 1.25 miles today um, actually was okay, could feel the injury a little bit on, on the left leg. Um, especially in the back of the knee, but it's actually a lot better now that I've had a run and a stretch. So feeling really good. Thank you, Saskia, for joining me. Um, I needed I needed that today and just needed someone just to chop with and have a chat with and not really think about running um, because the pain was there. But ran through it and it wasn't bad enough to stop me. So really happy with how it went. So that's recovery run done, and sometimes it's really important to do a recovery run. So if you did run yesterday and you're watching this, then make sure uh, you do a recovery run today as well. And just to reflect on it as an event, I kind of feel like London restores the faith, you know, in people, and that, that there is nice people in the world and that everyone does like each other, because um, it's just like one big party atmosphere down there in London on a, on a marathon day. And you're talking to people that just, I guess you wouldn't, normally talk to and and you you're meeting people all the time and people screaming on the side do they even know you like there was this there was this this couple that shouted go on Neil and they just followed my eye line for about 10 meters and they're like go on mate you can do it you can do it and you know they don't know me from Adam so it was really good to to see the support and it's just an overwhelming ex experience especially um, for anyone who's done London you'll know this but from 22 miles to the end the intensity of the crowd, just, if you're struggling, you, you don't need to worry about that because you just get dragged along. And um, it was just overwhelming, really, the, the event as a whole. And what I want to say here on camera is thank you to my support system, um, the my family and friends, um, my the high runners, completely overwhelming yesterday, what you did, guys, um, in terms of support, and my fit family here at the unit, and friends and associates of the unit because the support coming in yesterday was was unbelievable and completely overwhelming and um really humbling so it was just really emotional sometimes to get certain certain messages in and the support was just out of this world and um i just want to thank every single one of you that that supported me and, and joe and jim and lucy and richard down there um yesterday because that was it was phenomenal um, and then in terms of running the race itself, things got difficult for me at 13 miles. Um, I had, had a little think about it overnight, didn't sleep too well. Um, just my hamstring was so sore, kind of kept me up most of the night. Um, but, you know, I think reflecting on what's happened and, and, and the race and how it went, it was just, it was first half was all right and then got to 13 and something happened between 13 at 18 in Canary Wharf, something happened. My head was all out, out of sync. Um, my injury was hurting a little bit. And I just thought, right, you've got two choices. Everything's a choice, you can carry on. You can walk, you can stop. So I just decided to carry on and it managed to go away eventually. So that was really nice. And then in terms of, you know, 23 miles, beautiful moment in the crowd, loved it. Um, you know, just to see see that one or two familiar faces, just an overwhelming experience. And then, but something that happened was just beforehand, just one simple whisper of one simple sentence can make your day, it can even make your week. And probably without sounding like the Friends theme to you, it's made my, my day, my week, my month, and even my year. Um, Sometimes when when you just realise where you're at in life and, and, and what you're doing and where you could be and you just think about it and just one simple word in your ear just motivates you 
out of this world and and that was certainly true of yesterday for me and from that I just went on and just completed my third London Marathon I was really happy to say it was my third and I really enjoyed it so um all is good and London Marathon done really happy right now um now that I've woken up a little bit and um perhaps not not kind of overthinking things as much I am um, yeah no I'm feeling really good and really positive about yesterday really positive about the future future is really exciting uh, Grim Reaper while we're while we're on the vlog let's have a quick count up um so if you include this week that is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so fourteen weekends time it is time to put right what went wrong yesterday so it's now all about the Grim Reaper here we go. Big steps forward, big training to go. So take care and I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Never miss a Monday.